Hello and welcome to the CAD Geek blog. My name is Donna Gladfelter and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the improvements to the ribbon inside of AutoCAD 2010. So we of course saw the ribbon for the very first time inside of AutoCAD 2009 and you know opening it up looking at 2009 versus 2010 you'll notice the interface looks pretty much the same. In 2009 my ribbon tabs read off something like home, blocks and references, annotate, tools, view, and output. In 2010, you can of course start seeing the similarities there. I've got home, insert, annotate, a brand new one called parametric, which if you caught my post on parametric constraints, you know all about. Uh, view, manage, output, and actually one more that uh, isn't loaded up in this particular build of the beta, but is included in a subsequent build, is an express tab. So never fear, the express tools have finally been ribbonized, a very welcome improvement, in my own opinion at least. So, one of the beefs that I personally had with the ribbon inside of 2009 was that, you know, I found myself having to flip between tabs an awful lot. And so, you know, maybe I had to go to the home tab to create a line, and then over to the view command, or to the view tab, and then maybe over to the insert tab, and I sent, you know, I found myself doing a lot of what, in my opinion, were unnecessary clicks. And since clicks, of course, equal time, AutoCAD or Autodesk sat out to find a way to help us reduce the number of clicks that we've got. And their answer to that was this brand new feature called contextual ribbon tabs. So what's a contextual ribbon tab? Well, let's show just how the contextual ribbon works by attaching an XREF. So I'm going to attach a drawing, and I'm going to use one of these uh, sample drawings that ship with the product to go ahead and insert this layout plan. And it should come in here here in a second. There we go. So here I've got an XREF in my drawing. And so maybe I want to do uh, some XREF clipping. Maybe I need to edit the XREF in place. You know, some of these very, very common uh, functions that I need to perform after I have an XREF in a drawing. So by simply selecting the object, this whole new tab, external reference, comes up. Now this is a tab that I've never seen before. And in this case, it's actually a contextual uh, ribbon tab. So whenever I select an XREF, the external reference tab comes up. And you'll notice I have some very common tools specific to external references. So edit XREF in place, open the reference, create, remove clipping, and of course, even just bringing up the XREF manager itself. So very, very helpful. So how does this all come together? And the answer to that really lines in VCUI command. So, for instance, I happen to know that if I were to draw a line, that by default there's not a contextual tab that's going to come up uh, when I select that object, and you can see that right now. However, perhaps I really wanted the home tab to come up whenever I selected a line. And this is very, very easy to do with the help, of course, with the CUI command. So I'm just going to type in CUI at the command line, and this will, of course, load my uh, custom user interface editor. Give it a second to come up here. And here I have my CY uh, command itself. Much like 2009, I still have a ribbon tab, but what is different, uh, where I had tabs and panels in 2009, I still have those in 2010. But 2010 adds this contextual tab state. So this is where I can assign an object with a tab. So let's see what I'm taking, uh, talking about here. If I plus out contextual tab states, you'll notice that I have all sorts of events, and among those is, of course, line selected. Currently, I don't have any tabs assigned to line selected. So as we saw before I came into the CUI command, I select a line, and AutoCAD doesn't bring up any subsequent tabs for me. But perhaps I wanted the Home 2D tab to come up. To do that, I'm going to plus out my tabs uh, node here in the CUI editor. And so here's the Home 2D tab. This is the one that comes up on the far left. To assign this to the line selected event or state, I'm simply just going to take this guy and drag it and drop it right here onto line selected. So now, watch what happens when I hit OK to get out of the CUI command. So I'm going to select on the line, and you'll notice now a second Home tab comes up in a contextual state. So, uh, you know, this is just a very, very simple example of using it with a line command, but perhaps, um, you know, I have some very specific uh, 
tools that I need whenever I select a leader, or maybe uh, I do have some specific tools for whenever I select a line. Whatever the case might be, I can now do that and have the command that I need next just rapidly available to me uh, with the use of contextual ribbon tabs. So there you have it. There are contextual ribbon tabs inside of AutoCAD 2009. Thanks for visiting the CAD Geek. I hope to see you soon.